studying explosions. For first responders, knowing the characteristics of different kinds of explosives can lead them to a bomber. And that's the purpose of this special training session that was held today. The five-year anniversary of the Boston Marathon bombings, of course, is a reminder of the importance of that information. We give them knowledge on explosives. The certain types of explosives, commercial explosives, military explosives, homemade explosives. That's so this group of local police and fire investigators, state police and FBI, are better able to investigate and prosecute bomb makers and bomb setters. As I'm explaining each shot, guys, please feel free to raise your hand, ask questions. FBI bomb tech Jeff Raby leads the class. He and other technicians will set off 17 different types of explosives. So the first responders can learn to recognize the different characteristics of a variety of bombs. I'm a firm believer that that is the current threat. That improvised explosives are definitely something that we need to be concerned with. We're trying to answer all the relevant questions. Who, what, where, when, why, and how. We saw that five years ago after the marathon bombings. And ultimately that'll lead to the uh, individual or individuals who made these devices and set these devices. As a fire investigator, it's really important for us to be able to respond to, uh, to a post-blast scene um, and know, you know what to do and who to call. It helps us in our investigative procedures and what to look for, so these demonstrations are important. And we get better over time. The more scenes you encounter, the better you, you get at prosecuting these scenes. And we should point out that today's training is part of a three-day program that includes examining the bomb debris, learning how to secure a bomb site, and how to interview witnesses as well.